everybody, it's Michael here with another video on 3D printing using your RepRap 3D printer. And today I'm just going to be giving some initial impressions on a new piece of hardware I just got. This is the Alu Hot End version 5. Uh, and this was designed by the Jolly Grim Reaper and is available from 3D Industries down in Australia. Now I'm really excited to uh, have this particular hot end uh, in my arsenal. Uh, for those of you that may have seen uh, other videos on my channel, I've done an extensive set of reviews on the Alu Hot End version 4, and I actually think this is, the version 4 is, is the best non-all-metal uh, hot end that I have used to date. And I'm not going to talk too much about the difference between the uh, all-metal and what I would call mostly metal hot ends right now. That's uh, beyond the scope of this video. But suffice to say that despite uh, that everything you can see looks like metal, there is a PTFE or a Teflon liner inside. So it, it does have an upper temperature limit, which is still pretty generous. It's about 245 degrees uh, centigrade, which is, uh, uh, is enough to certainly to extrude, to extrude ABS and anything really except for polycarbonate. Uh, so this, I think, is a very capable hot end at a very nice price. Now, uh, again, for those of you that are familiar with the version 4 or have seen my uh, review series on that, I'll talk about some of the differences. Uh, one thing, I had a nice conversation with the Jolly Grim Reaper himself, and he was telling me that this right here is what he was going to refer to as the A model. It still has the cylindrical heater block right here. And there is going to be a B version, which is going to have a square uh, heater block right here that's also going to have a second thermistor mounting hole. This one right here has a through hole and this is a uh, two millimeter size so this is going to fit what I would call the um, thermistor number five from the Marlin tables which has a slightly smaller bead than the thermistor version one and I apologize for calling them that. I know they do have much longer part numbers but I don't have those in my head right now. Uh, the B version with the, the uh, square heater block is going to be is going to have a separate hole for each of those thermistors, so you can use either one on it. And this one is still going to be using the the smaller two millimeter bead. Uh, so that's coming up in the and that should be available and probably shipping now. Uh, so we have the uh, cylindrical. Uh, heater block right now. The other thing that I've noticed is, and here I actually happen to have a heat sink from a version 4 right here, and as you can see the heat sink has more thinner fins. So what that does of course is create more surface area for cooling. So I think this is actually going to be a more efficient um, heat sink design as far as, as, far as keeping the, uh, the top part of the hot end cool, which is what you want. Uh, other than that, it looks like this is a nice evolution of the uh, Alu Hot End design, and I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this set up in a printer. And another thing I'm really excited about, and I'll give you a sneak preview of uh, what's going to be coming up in some other videos, I actually have two of these, and uh, a, someone in a comment for a video I just did asked me about the single sheet Prusa i3 printer that I've made reference to uh, a couple of times but have never actually shown. And I will simply say this, that printer is almost finished and I have two mostly metal hot ends right here and I will let you do the math about what I'm going to attempt with that. So I'm looking uh, very much forward to being able to demonstrate um, these hot ends on that printer. So uh, right now Thank you very much for watching. I'm really looking forward, like I said, to getting these installed and seeing what they'll do. And I'll certainly bring you a uh, more full report when that time comes. So until then, once again, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.